Hello guys, <coughs> in the previous lesson we completed the whole the model dynamics with the system parameters uh, which are the general constant of our system dynamics which means that it's the material property which is related to the density factor or the material selection and so we have the elasticity and the torsional elasticity value of in this model and so we also choose or selected to what to radius of or the shape factor of this system design in the crank model okay in this lesson <coughs> we should define the torque and f brake value torque is directly related to the applied torque on what on the crank mechanisms okay and so f brake is related to the what the abc system and so uh, we push the f brake into the this shaft model and then the wheel is slower than the normal one okay <coughs> and so in order to create a torque and uh, f brake model we should impl implement the <coughs> new method function input and brake mechanism okay and so <coughs> if we redesign the system the output of this function is that torque and f brake should be generated from this function and so we need to get the input of the simulation time and so we can create the proper torque and f brake value in order to drive the system or to stop the system okay and so <coughs> torque value can be defined by the torque int and so f brake is defined by the f brake int value <coughs> which is the internal value of the disk function and so we need to <coughs> imitate or the change this variable by using the coding techniques in here okay and so the torque <coughs> int should be initialized by the zero and so f break int should be initialized by the 150 okay and so we should condition uh, this <coughs> task <coughs> by using the if blocks if t is smaller than 2 and then the torque value int should be equal to 5 and so f break int value is equal to the zero <coughs> okay these are the complete code and so until the time is equal to two, two seconds and so the torque is a zero and the f break is 150 but in the otherwise the if the time is <coughs> exceeded to the two seconds and so we have this value in the first place the torque is applied on the system and f break is zero which is mean which means that the this car model or the crank model is accelerated by the time okay and so <coughs> until the two seconds is completed or the, the done and so the model should be stopped by using the f break in 150 value and the torque is equal to the zero okay this are approach of what we can do and so we need to link the torque value with the torque f brake value with the f brake and so we need to add the clock value clock produces the simulation time of our matlab simonic model and so if we have choose the 10 seconds in here and so the clocks generates with the specific sampling period zero to ten seconds values okay <coughs> in time <coughs> and so in order to obtain the full model parameters in here and then we should add the max value in here with the rate of or the number of these things and so the number of four additional output should be defined in here because 
we have the four state parameters theta m or will <coughs> theta m dot x and x dot okay and so <coughs> we need to add the <coughs> some scope value in here which means that we should add the scope at this moment and so this is equal to what the qm value okay and in the second place this is equal to what qm dot value okay and so this is equal to also a x value and so in the third place or the fourth place this is equal to the what x dot value okay and so <coughs> if you have this kind of system in here and then we can run or the test the program by pushing the run button in here okay and so if you push the run button and then we have the shock degree huh, okay shock degree is not assigned to the program and so we need to add the specific shaft ratio in here like this one shaft degree can be generated by using the theta m value minus x divided by r okay and shaft torque is equal to what shaft torque is equal to the <coughs> kx times theta m minus x divided by r okay and so we need to specify the x and theta m value in here and so <coughs> these parameters can be obtained by the theta m is equal to the z1 comma 1 theta m dot is equal to the z2 it's the second state of our system and x should be equal to what 3 comma 1 and so x dot is equal to z4 1 okay <coughs> <coughs> These are general notation of the program and so if you rerun this program then there is no syntax error in here and so if we check the x value in here the x is started with a zero value and so it's accelerated in here and so the x dot is negative at this position and so in the steady state position 0 0.12 or 12 centimeter is the steady state value of our approach okay <coughs> and so what about the x dot value x dot is equal to the what until the second time it's accelerated but after this two seconds and so the braking mechanism is active and so the our car model is slowing down than the normal one and so it goes to the zero because we push the braking pedal on our car okay and so this is our approach to obtain the crank mill model with the specific dynamics of the wheel model okay and so additionally we should add the shaft degree position in here shaft degree and also we need to obtain the shaft torque value in here and so <coughs> what are the important parameters of using or observe observing this degree and the torque value for example <coughs> if you rerun this program <coughs> the shaft degree is equal to the what is equal to the this notation in here and so the five times minus over minus three okay and so this is equal to the what it's in, it's in the radian notation in here but it's smaller one which means that this cylindrical object is torsioned at the level of these things at the maximum level of the torsion value is the five times ten over minus three radian okay and so if we have this kind of torsion factor in the crank mill mechanism and so the shaft torque should be analyzed in here <coughs> the shaft torque is up to the 12 newton 
matters newton times matters or the energy form of these things and so <coughs> it dictate us the cylindrical must be designed by loading at least 12 newton meters until the broken is not active okay and so if we apply on this general torque value on this system and so this shaft is torsioned at the level of 12 newton times matter or the energy form of these things and so this cylindrical possesses this value of energy and so under this condition this shaft or mill or cylindrical design should not be broken by using this newton matter or the torque value and so you need to utilize the information of the machine elements or the material property or the strange theory on this diagram and so you need to design or the update of your design by using this consideration because in the system dynamics everything is in the form of the time response of our system and so what about this? what's the important of this the important thing is that you can see the time response characteristic of it and so <coughs> you can design the dynamic model or dynamic response of this meal modeling okay and so for example <coughs> if we have this <coughs> shop degree model in here and so <coughs> what about this what about this if we increase the material property or the increase the d2 value like this one 0 2 and 0 5 which means that the radius of the shape uh, diameter of the this cylindrical object is uh, equal to the 20 centimeter or 50 centimeter it's a new parameter from the other one okay and so if you update the shape factor in here <coughs> and then if you rerun this program and so the sharp torque value in this notation is not up to the one newton meter and so we updated the design and so we can build a 3d model of these things in the real life application and so we assure that we guarantee that this shaft cannot be loaded up to one newton meter in the time response characteristic this this most <coughs> useful pro production or the generation of the system dynamics model okay this is the main advantage of what we are using the system dynamics in the mechanical or hydraulical or fluid or heat dynamics okay <coughs> <coughs> and so this is the end of this course so in the next week or in the next courses we will discuss about the another system dynamics model with the controller approach, okay?